I should do a 10 second disclaimer on this little video first. Um, this is how I, I plan on charging it. Um, the plan works in my head. Now I know the, the charge curves will all be different. I understand that. Um, I don't know how to change it. Um, I have been in, in contact with MPP Solo. I think it was Peggy. Um, she's really helpful by the way. Um, and she just said, I think really generally, she doesn't know. Um, Google searches and stuff like that says they like to be charged. Uh, Alan Fleck, is it? Anyway, a lot of you have sent me over links and stuff, and I have tried to watch a lot of it. Um, they like to go straight up and 4.2 and then come across. I know this inverter is going to sort of ramp it up slowly. Nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to try it. Um, fingers crossed I don't blow up a $900 inverter because it's actually an inverter grid. Um, they call it a 2.4 kilowatt inverter with a 60 amp MPPT charge controller built into it, UPS and all that sort of stuff. It's pretty good stuff. MPP uh, Solar is a PIP 2424MSX. I will link it below. Okay, and on with the video. Cheers. Okay, so how am I going to be charging these batteries? Um, basically, this is my other off-grid system. So I'm charged. It's a, it's a really rainy day. It's like complete overcast day, and we're running charging at 10 amps at 230, 275 watts, whatever, with a PV voltage of 108 volts. Um, my commercial grid tie system is doing 1011, there we go, 1011, um, and it's done, it's only done 2.8 kilowatt hours today, <laughs> that's pretty pathetic, but like I said, it is raining very heavily all day. Um, and that's sort of how much I get. It's been pretty cloudy in the last couple of weeks. So we've got a couple of days there with 30 kilowatt hours. But anyway, that's not what I want to show you. Okay. So this inverter here is a PIP 2424MSX. Um, which can be found on the MPP Solar website. Or Google, I guess. Now I've got seven banks. Maximum charge is times... 4.2 equals 29.4 volts. Now this is the way I see this working and this could be completely wrong and I strongly suspect it is wrong. But this inverter here, I can set uh, back to discharge voltage, input voltage here. If we go down the bottom here. Let's see if we can zoom on that. Okay. So bulk charge voltage I can set to maximum of 92.2 so if we refer back to the calculator which is out of shot now which is still out of shot 29.4 is the most the batteries can take so that's fully charged so that puts my inverter 0.2 of a volt below which in my mind makes it a little bit safer um, and float charge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank that all the way up. Um, so I'm just basically going to set everything to 29.2. Um, I can also here configure the back to grid voltage so I can actually turn it off. The lowest is 22 volts. So you bring the calculator back up, whack him up here, somewhere where we can see it. So if we go 29, um, so a flat battery, what's a flat battery on one of these? A dead flat is 3 volts. So 3 volts times uh, 7 equals 21. So 21 volts would be dead flat. The lowest I can take my inverter down to is 22 volts. So if I go clear, I don't know which one to click. So 22 volts divided by 7 equals, so I'm only taking the batteries down to 3.14. So that's the minimum. So I hope with those settings there, um, and there is actually, there we go, there it is there, cut, cut off voltage so I can, I can actually change that. But it's useless going down to that if the back to grid voltage is 22. So I think that's borderline redundant. So that is the software for my MPP. So that is how I plan on setting it up. All this sort of stuff might be a little bit different. 
um, I can change the the AC current charging and I can change uh, frequency and if I set the battery type to user that allows me to change all this stuff um, so hopefully that's how I plan on charging my batteries and hopefully I don't burn the house down let me know how wrong I really am thank you